Simon Harris will break a few records today. A man who took his seat at the 15th count, a member of a political party that came third in the last general election, will become Taoiseach today. And the Taoiseach carousel continues in this, in this political bubble, uh, where we have the, the people of this republic continuously locked out of the decision-making process. And there's no doubt that Simon Harris is very good at spin. I've never seen anybody be able to distance themselves from themselves so well as he has done in the last number of weeks. He's flipped from a committed proponent of the current hate speech law to a critique of elements of it. He was a pro-life campaigner to the person who introduced that heartbreaking law. And he has uh, also uh, been the person who has become elevated now uh, to the position of Taoiseach, posing as a new broom. But the truth of the matter is, despite the fact that he is throwing promises around like confetti, he is the Bradker continuity candidate. He has been a minister for eight years. He owns the highest homelessness numbers in the history of the state. He owns the highest house prices in the history of the state. He owns the highest rents in the history of this state. And I think he also personifies the South Dublin political bubble that can't see beyond the M50, where establishments TDs talk to themselves and the NGOs and ignore the people. I don't believe he is a man of convictions. I believe his motto is, there go my people, I must find out which way they're going, and then I will lead them. Simon, Simon Harris has a record which I believe has cost this country dearly. He threatened striking nurses uh, with financial penalties. He announced free smear tests for women to save himself, placing so much pressure on the system and leading to dangerous delays for women. In the early days of COVID, he refused to meet with the nursing home sector, um, which was the most vulnerable element of that crisis. Indeed, at that time, thousands of people were moved from hospitals into nursing homes. Many of them weren't tested, which seeded COVID right through the nursing home system and led to many deaths. During COVID, he cancelled cancer screening and reduced cancer services leading to 100,000 fewer women screened for breast cancer and a tidal wave of more advanced cancers. And the billions of overspend in the National Children's Hospital was, and I quote Simon Harris, not a scandal. In 2017, he promised that no child would go beyond four months for an operation. A, P, uh, a PQ uh, from AIM2 has shown that 55 children just in Temple Street and Crumlin alone are today waiting for more than a year for scoliosis surgery. Uh, and Simon Harris was the Minister for Justice for the first, uh, uh, of last, the first half of last year. And during that time, violent crimes increased, the number of Gardaí uh, increased, the number of Gardaí resigning and retiring increased, and the number of Gardaí being attacked increased as well. I do think this is a historic day. I think we're seeing the elevation of a caretaker Taoiseach, a Taoiseach who will have the record of having the shortest term in the history of the state. Thank you, Deputy Shanahan.